So here you can actually see the reason why this is made like this. So you can already see that these parts here are exactly the same. And then you can see that the higher this number gets, the more the curve will stretch up and down, uh, just up, just up. And if this number gets low, then the curve will not stretch, anti-stretch, I don't know that word anyway. So it's actually the same functionality as with this thing here. Here at the end you have this one and the higher this number gets, the more the curve will move to up. It's the same as this one. The more you put this on the right side, it's like a feeling of enlarging a number. So you make this number even higher, so the picture will move up. And the reason why this thing is actually inverted is because this thing is also inverted. So this basically just creates a feeling that, okay, this part must be thought inverted. And of course, we have this button here. What is this button? If you put a minus in here, then the curve, if you got an x to the power of 2 curve, like this one, then if you put a minus before, then you will get this curve. And this is the reason why the picture should also move in the same way. So this is just the basic idea, the basic concept. And if you give such a thing to a kid and it's enjoying it, and it, it's getting used to this stuff, like also the inverted here, and then it getting, and then at some point it will go to school and it will learn these things. And then as a parent, you just go there and say, well, do you remember this toy that you had? It's actually just the same. And there's nothing else the kid needs to study anymore.